If you were watching on Peacock, the live look in, we were talking about Valentine's Day. You try to get through Valentine's Day unscathed. Well, I forgot it was Valentine's Day yesterday. So I left the house, out the door, taking the dog, going to work. And then my wife texts me and says, uh, oh, uh, by the way, happy Valentine's Day. And I went, oh, my God. And I was like, uh, too late to do anything. And I said, uh, sorry. She goes, no, no worries. I forgot to. I went, okay, that's good. Whew. She remembered before I remembered. So all day yesterday, I think I called her four times and I'd say, happy Valentine's Day. And then I'd see her late. Happy Valentine's Day. She goes, okay, point made. Yeah, see. Be awesome if when she said, oh, by the way, happy Valentine's Day, would be like, yeah, I've been waiting. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just flipped it and be like, yeah, yeah about time. Yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. But we should get stuff too, right? I mean, it's Valentine's Day. I didn't get a gift. You know, it'd be nice. Yes, Fritzy. But you shouldn't feel bad that you didn't say it first. Though the world is very different now. There's no like you know who says it first, and the guy has to say it okay. to the girl. I just right. we're in a whole new world where if she said it first, good for her. And then you go, yeah, you too. Happy Valentine's Day. What color is the sky in that world, Todd? <laughs> yeah, you must be new here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's dark. It was, I'm sorry. That what? sky. Uh, and and today is is Singles Day. National Singles Day. Single Awareness Day. S A D, sad. <laughs> but it's a real thing. Singles Awareness Day. You would think if you're single after Valentine's Day, you don't need to have any awareness that you're a loser, right? But if you look at the letters, Singles Awareness Day, sad. Yeah, see. See, I think they messed this up, right. the singles. All right. They shouldn't have it the day after Valentine's Day. They should have it the day before Valentine's Day. Because some people who are single just spent the whole day yesterday being like, ah, I'm alone still. I'm never going to find anyone. And then today it's like, oh, no, it's okay. You're going to be okay. It's fine to be single. <laughs> Instead, they should have done a preemptive, like, hey, just a reminder, tomorrow there's going to be a holiday about people who are, don't worry about it. You're good. They have a holiday about you being a loser. That's, <laughs> that's right after Valentine's Day. No offense. Yes, Paulie. Do we get a hall pass this year with Valentine's Day at all? Because the Super Bowl was on a Sunday, the 13th. So our head was there. If you're like a bro who watches a lot of sports, mm. do you get that kind of hall pass this <laughs> year? I don't think so. I took my wife out to dinner uh, on Saturday night, like a preemptive strike. Okay. It seemed to work. Yes, Todd. What about those that say conscious choice that they're single? They're not a loser. They, they, they're busy. They got work. They got other responsibilities. They have no time for a relationship. Mm. Or are they rationalizing their loneliness by saying, I choose to not have any I, I chose to be single for a long period of time uh, when I was uh, getting out of high school, going to college. My first two years of college, I was choosing to be single. You're being facetious. Right? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, and long hair. I had a, a unibrow, and I had acne. I mean, come on. Who wants some of that? 6'3", about 175. Uh, height and weight bell, Marvin. Let's go. Sleep at the wheel. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's me. Single awareness. There's somebody for everybody, though. Someone out there somewhere just maybe didn't run into you would have found that hot, that whole no, thing they, you just no, described. No? No. Definitely not? No, not at all. Not at all. Yeah, see. The uh, You know, it's funny, too, because I never had any interest in getting married at all. I never wanted to get married, never wanted to have kids. And that's actually one of the first things that uh, me and my now wife and mother of my son talked about the day we met. Never getting married, never having kids. You yeah. too? Let's Woo! go. Let's go grab a drink. <laughs> all right, girl. Who was single the longest here? I got married at 30. Todd? 20 days after my 30th birthday. Okay. Seton? Uh... I think I was, I was somewhere in my early 30s, maybe 30, something like that. All right. Paulie? Got married at 35 years old. Loser. Or winner. Uh, <laughs> think it through. Or? I don't know. I, I fell love, found love five years before, you know, so I was lucky. I found a lot of love between you, 30 and 35. You, Didn't you, last. You felt like, I think, <laughs> a lot of like. I'm getting texts from single people now, by the way. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Very unhappy. <laughs> Today's not a good day for you. And I agree. Singles Awareness Day the day before Valentine's Day. It should be. Yeah. Yeah, Paul. I have a couple of buddies who are single, and they're going wire to wire. They declared it like when they were young, mm. and now they're not young anymore, and they're perfectly, at least 
outwardly. They tell fine. you that. They've got convertibles. <laughs> they don't, they've got a lot of credit card debt. I noticed that. They're just substituting one thing for another thing. <laughs> That's all. Can't put a price tag on love, Todd. And you can't choose to be single. If you meet that special <laughs> soulmate somebody that's out there, you can't just declare, oh, I'm never walking down the aisle or whatever. But Leonardo DiCaprio, is he really happy? He's ecstatic, I would think. Yes, more. Tons of L.A. work out there. Yes, he's doing L.A. work. David Spade, he's going wire to wire. <laughs> wire to wire. Work. Yeah, Dang. holiday work, man. Dang, dude. Yeah. Al Pacino's got a couple of kids, but Ooh. he didn't get married. Hoo-ha! Uh, anybody else that we're missing on the singles list there? Uh, George Clooney for a long time there. He was fighting them off, too. But yes, that he was. Sexiest hey, man alive? Paul, yeah. you're sort of the George Clooney of our group. <laughs> then You <laughs> held out the longest. I'll take it. Yeah. Five more years to <laughs> sow the oats. God bless him. I know. And then Paulie always has the it, my favorite story is Paulie dated a, a woman who looked like uh, Wednesday from the Adams family. Yeah, a hot Wednesday from oh, the well, Adams family. She, Just to be clear, she she looked like Wednesday from Adams family. She had pigtails, and I think I even said to Paulie, I said, uh, "Hey, uh, how long have you been seeing Wednesday?" <laughs> and he goes, "What?" I said, "She looks like Wednesday from the Adams family." Good line. 